Hi yogis and welcome to Yoga with Mary. Today we will work on building foundation and learning proper alignment. This class is perfect for you if you are new to yoga or if you want to slow down your practice and build a strong foundation. If this is your first time trying yoga, know that the first time I ever tried yoga I had no idea of what I was doing. It took me some time to understand what the yoga practice was about. That's why I want to share with you some yoga tips before we start class. First thing, yoga is not a workout. It's a work in. Standing on your hands or becoming super flexible is not the goal. The goal is to create space where you were once stuck, to heal, to bloom, to love who you are. Do not compare yourself. Some yogis have been practicing forever. Everybody's different. Embrace where you're at, be soft with yourself, and enjoy the journey. There's a yoga quote I love that says, yoga is the journey of the self, through the self, to the self. Before we start, please remember to subscribe to my channel so we can continue this journey together. Let's do this. We will start in child's pose, Balasana. Open your knees wide, bring the soles of your feet together and extend your arms forward. Bring your forehead to the mat. Take a deep breath in, feel up. Big open mouth, exhale out. Oh. One more just like that, breathe in, feel up. Big open mouth, exhale out. We'll now start to activate the Ujjayi breath. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Keep breathing just like that. The Ujjayi breath helps create inner heat inside our bodies. One more Ujjayi breathing. Stay for the breath out. Slowly guide yourself up into a comfortable seat. Come to sit on your glutes and straight away bring your chin to your chest. And now back. Bring your head back to center and now towards the right. Center and left. Bring it back to center and start to roll all the way down and up. One more round. Now start to roll your head towards the left. Guide your right hand to the top of your head and slowly tilt your head to the left side. Apply gentle pressure with your hand to increase the stretch. One more breath in. Stay for the breath out. Slowly guide your head back to center and bring your left hand to the right side of your face. Slowly guide your head towards your left shoulder. Guide your shoulders towards your ears and down. Inhale up and down. Now move them forward and back. Just let it feel good. Listen to your body. Move on your own pace.
slowly come back to center. Plant your palms on the mat and guide your heels back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high to the sky and your heels down to the earth. Front ribs in. Imagine your body is an inverted letter V. Option to pedal it out. Bend one knee, bend the other one. Gently come back to center. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, step your feet to the top of your mat, ragdoll pose. Bring your feet hips width distance. You can measure this placing two fists in between your feet. Now let your torso hang heavy. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Option to interlace your arms. A slight side to side. Let it feel good. Slowly come back to center. Tiptoe your feet back together. And inhale, slowly rise all the way up to standing. Take your time here. Exhale, Samastidihi. Bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. This is a great moment to set an intention for your practice. This can be a word, a mantra, maybe something you're working on, or you can even dedicate your practice to someone outside these walls. If nothing comes to mind, let me offer you the idea of self-love. Take a moment to think about something you love about yourself. I encourage you to fill your body and soul with love all day today. Anytime you catch yourself being negative or criticizing yourself, think about something you love about yourself instead. Take a deep breath in to seal your intention. Big open mouth, exhale out anything that no longer serves you. Slowly blink your eyes open. Come back to this space and relax your hands to the side. Inhale, mountain pose, sadasana. Reach your arms up, rotate your palms in, draw your tailbone down. Breathe here. Imagine a huge balloon is lifting you up through the crown of your head. Breathe in, grow taller. Exhale, forward fold, melt all the way down to the earth. Hinge from your hips. Let your torso hang heavy and bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, long neck, gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms, send your heels to the back, engage your core and actively push the mat away from you. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Bring your knees down to the earth. Exhale, low chaturanga. Hug your elbows towards your ribcage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Re-engage your thighs away from the mat. Shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back and up. Breathe in. Exhale out. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. Bend your knees, squeeze your inner thighs together, push your belly button in. Breathe here. Draw your tailbone down. Engage your core. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Melt your heart all the way down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your spine. Exhale, high plank. Engage your core. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, full chaturanga. Draw a straight line through the crown of your head to your heels. Inhale, upward facing dog. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high to the sky. Breathe 
in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Guide your right foot in between your hands. Keep your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two, Vida Madrasana. Open up to the side. Stack your front knee over your ankle. If it's not there yet, don't worry. Eventually it'll be. Bring your gaze forward and turn your hips to the side of the room. Breathe here. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, extend the side angle. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your front knee. Bring your gaze up and lift your chest away from your thigh as much as possible. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend on your front knee. Bring your right up, up and back. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Your own variation. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straight away. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Flip your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Vira Madrasana. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Draw your tailbone down. Shoot energy from your fingertips. Imagine you're trying to reach your two favorite people. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, extend the side angle. Engage your abdominals. Draw your gaze up or down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Paint the sky, feel that side body stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. High to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in, full of love. Exhale out anything that no longer serves you. Oh. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, step your feet to the top of your mat. And straight away, roll all the way down to lay on your mat, vertebra by vertebra. Now bring your knees over your hips, reverse tabletop, and guide your palms into your thighs. Push your thighs away from you. Can you feel it? Push harder. Now slowly interlace your hands behind your head. Extend your right leg long. Bring your right elbow to Three, your left two, knee. One. Inhale, center. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Bicycle sit up. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Center and twist. Center and twist. Center and twist. Center and twist and stay here and pause. Pause. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Center and twist to the other side and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guide your knees into your chest. Rock and roll a few times on your spine and come all the way up to boat pose Navasana. Bring your palms under your thighs. Option to stay here or you can bring your feet up. For an extra challenge, release your hands away from your thighs. You got it. And for an extra, extra challenge, extend your legs up. Breathe here. We're right here for three, two, and one. Let it go. Wrap your arms around your legs. Relax your head and neck. And straight away, plant your palms to the earth. Send your heels back. Hold high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, full chaturanga, your own variation. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stay here for one more breath. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Big open mouth, exhale out. 
Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Option to bring your back knee down to the earth. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Stack your front knee over your ankle. Square your hips to the front of the room. You can achieve this by slightly bringing your left hip forward. One more breath in, find length. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, revolve, press and lunge. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Bring your gaze up. Lift your chest away from your thigh. Breathe in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Now slowly guide your back foot to meet the right. Inhale, prayer twist. Press your palms towards each other. Lift your chest away from your thighs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. One more breath in, find length. Exhale, let it go. Release your palms to the mat. Step your feet hips with distance. Breathe in. Exhale, gorilla pose. Slide your hands, palms face up under your feet. Relax your neck. Shift your weight into your toes. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Slowly release your palms. Breathe in, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, press and lunge. Reach up. Push your belly button in. Drop your rib cage in. Spare your hips to the front. You can achieve this by slightly pushing your right hip forward. Breathe here. One more breath in, find length. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, revolve, press and lunge. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your front knee. Actively press your palms towards each other. Bring your gaze up. Lift your chest away from your thigh. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Slowly guide your back foot to meet the front one. Inhale, prayer twist. Breathe in. Through your nose, breathe out. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Open your heart to the side. One more breath in and length. Exhale forward fold. Melt all the way down. Inhale, high, halfway lift. And now listen. Exhale, crawl pose. Jump into it if it's on your practice. Otherwise, I'll demo it for you. Okay, yogis. Plant your hands shoulder width distance and your feet hips width distance. Once you're here, start to bend your elbows and bring your knees as close as possible to your armpits. Send your gaze forward and shift your weight forward. Remember that wherever your eyes go, your body will follow. If you look back, you will fall back. If you look forward, you will shift forward. So once you're here, maybe lift up one foot, maybe lift up the other foot, or maybe you can lift both of your feet up here. If you're here, start to bring your feet as close as possible to your glutes and straighten your arms. Now, if you fall down, know that it is completely normal. Crow pose is more about practicing than anything else. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the better you become. It's like everything in life. Also note that it's more about balancing than strength. With that being said, if you're done playing around, meet me all the way back on your mat for forward fold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out, let it go. 
whatever it was, it was, it's already in the past. Slowly inhale, come up, chair pose. Exhale, eagle on the right. Wrap your right arm under your left. In case this is too much for you, you can grab for opposite shoulders. From here, bring your right foot up and across your left. You can leave it on the floor or you can do a wrap or a double wrap. Wherever you're at today, that's where you're at and that's perfect. Squeeze everything in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out, sit lower. Inhale, come back to chair pose. Exhale, eagle on the other side, your own variation. Bring your left foot up and across your right. Sit low, lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, come back to chair pose, Ukatasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Reach up. Exhale, dancer's pose. Capture the inside of your back foot and now kick your back foot up and back. You can stay here or you can start to kick a little bit forward. Find your edge, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, come back to mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, dancer's pose on the other side. Capture the inside of your back foot and start to kick your leg up and back. One more breath in. Stay for that breath out. Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Exhale, squat and crawl. Bring your forehead to your knees. Tiny ball. Send your heels towards your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Come to sit on your glutes and straight away roll all the way down to your mat. Bring your feet as close as possible to your hands. Inhale up, bridge pose. Option to interlace your hands behind your back. Lift your chest up, lift your hips up. Breathe here. Exhale, let it go. Supta Vada Kanasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. Feel your heart beat. You're just where you need to be, right here, right now. Slowly close your legs just like you were closing a book. And bring your knees to a reverse tabletop and guide your right ankle to your left knee. Gently press your left thigh towards your chest, supine figure four. Breathe deeply. Deep breaths are like little love notes to your body. Take another deep breath in. Find your edge on your breath out. Slowly inhale, supine twist. Guide your legs to the left side of your body. Bring your gaze to the opposite direction and extend your arms to the side. Pull your shoulders to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Slowly guide your legs back to center. Inhale, reverse tabletop. Exhale, supine figure four on the other side. Guide your left ankle to your right knee. And slightly press your right thigh towards your chest. Breathe into it. The more you breathe into it, the more it will slowly melt away and disappear. Inhale in. Feel up, exhale, find your edge, breathe in, exhale, guide your legs towards the right side, 
Bring your gaze towards the opposite direction. Breathe here. Come back to something you love above yourself. Slowly bring your legs back to center, uncross your legs and bring your forehead to your knees, last effort of class. Fill yourself up with love as much as possible, breathe in love, more, more, more. Exhale, let it go, Shavasana, take as much space as needed, relax your face muscles. Relax every tiny part of your body. You are ready to continue your day. Start to invite energy back to your body. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Take your time here. Take a moment to remember how you started your practice and how you're feeling now. A moment of gratitude for that practice and for taking care of yourself. Slowly guide your knees to your chest for field pose. Roll to the left side for energy if you're going to continue your day or to the right side for relaxation. Use your arm as a pillow. This is the posture of rebirth. It is meant for new beginnings. I invite you to give birth to something new. Maybe something you learned from your practice today. Gently press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keep your eyes closed and bring your hands to your heart. Feel your heart beat. Feel yourself up with love in every breath. You are beautiful, you are enough, and you are loved. Bring your hands and your heart's desires to your third eye, your seat of intuition. The light, the love, and the teacher in me honors and respects the light, the love, and the teacher in you. Namaste. Thank you for letting me guide this practice for you today and for showing up for yourself. You are amazing. <laughs> she agrees. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so we can continue this journey together. Feel free to check out my videos, otherwise you know where to find me, right here on your mat, and know that you're always more than welcome here. Namaste. Bella, say bye. Say bye bye.